Now to COVID. Queensland, the Queensland government will no longer require interstate travellers to get a PCR test on day five of their trip, but there's been no change yet to the PCR swab requirement 72 hours before crossing the border, and that's where, where all the controversy is with uh, some of the other states saying that has to change. Reporter Rachel Riga joins us now from Brisbane. Rachel, good day. So the New South Wales Health Minister has pleaded with the Queensland Premier to drop that requirement for getting the test prior to going into Queensland, but there's no movement on that just yet. That's right, Joe. There's been no movement on that requirement for interstate travellers to get a PCR test before coming into Queensland. As you mentioned, we have seen that that five-day test has been dropped. Uh, the health minister said that was because they've looked at some of the data over the last two weeks and they've seen that only 0.6% of positive cases are coming from that day five test. So they've chosen to scrap that and put those resources to... Uh, testing people with symptoms. However, it seems that there is uh, a lot of uh, controversy around this 72-hour test, and that is coming from the New South Wales government. They're singling out Queensland, saying that it's putting extraordinary pressure on testing resources down south. They're saying uh, a quarter of a lot of their tests uh, are coming from Queenslanders or, or people interstate trying to get into Queensland to fulfil those requirements. And we are seeing that people are waiting days to get that 72-hour test, which is outside the time frame. Anyways, this is what the New South Wales Health Minister Brad Hazard had to say this morning about that testing requirement. It's time that the PCR tests for, for uh, tourism testing were dropped, uh, preferably today, Premier, um, is my strong request to you. Politely and courteously I say this to you, we need to understand that rapid antigen tests make more sense for people who are about to cross the border. And what's the Queensland Government had to say on that? Well, the Queensland government is holding firm. They've always said that they will look at changing the requirement of that PCR test to possibly a rapid antigen test on the 1st of January. Uh, and the health minister, Yvette Darth, says they're still having those discussions around that. It's not set in stone. However, she has says that an element they're looking at is supply. Uh, they don't want to have to change that requirement to rapid antigen testing if uh, people in New South Wales and Victoria and other states simply can't get access to those types of tests. So this is what uh, the Health Minister Yvette Darth had to say this morning. To say you don't need to line up for PCR tests in, in New South Wales or Victoria, for example, and then people find they can't get access to a rat test, that's not going to fix the problem. So we need to make sure um, that there's supply. So we're just taking advice and we're working through that in a safe way, but we know the pre-arrival test is a really important test as opposed to the day five test, we've got enough data now to show uh, that we can move away from that. And Rachel, what were the Queensland case numbers today? Yeah, well, Queensland recorded 1,158 new cases of COVID. About 257 of those are of the Omicron variant. Uh, there's nobody in ICU, but there are about six people being treated in hospital for COVID. Joe. Okay, Rachel Riga there in Brisbane.